All right, 42, solve the formula for g. So they give us f equals g times m sub 1, m sub 2, divided by d squared. Well, first things first, let's go ahead and let's clear this fraction. And we'll uh, multiply, rather, by d squared on both sides. So here on the right, d squared cancels with d squared. And now we're left with d squared times f equals g times m sub 1, m sub 2. And if we want g all by itself, we'll divide by m sub 1, m sub 2 on both sides. And there we have it. We're left with now because the m's cancel, so we're left with g equals d squared f over m sub 1, m sub 2. And the numerator could maybe be written in a different order. I'm not sure what the answer key says. It may say g equals f times d squared. That's fine, too. Uh, remember, you're multiplying, so it doesn't necessarily really matter in what order we multiply. 3 times 5 is 15, just like 5 times 3 is 15. So you'll arrive at the same answer uh, either way. But there you have it. Number 42.